In this video we are going to talk about top 10 football players of all time. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Football, soccer, would be considered an art form if it weren't for the fact that it is played in a physical arena. The beautiful game's imagination and ingenuity would raise it to that rank. Football, unlike the bulk of other sports, allows its players to openly express themselves on the field. Footballers are free to shoot, pass, tackle, and dribble the ball in any number of ways, allowing the game's most gifted players to reach the pinnacle of their respective sports popularity. Football, the most popular sport on the planet, has produced some legendary figures who have transcended the game and left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of football fans all around the world. It may appear hard to choose the greatest football players of all time, yet it is. In this video, we aim to accomplish precisely that. Number 10. George Best, Northern Ireland. Despite the fact that George Best's professional life was ruined by drunkenness, his talent was unrivaled. He was a star for Manchester United during his time there, winning the 1968 European Cup and two Premier League titles. He was known for his dribbling prowess. He won the Ballon d'Or in 1968 for his excellent performance as an offensive midfielder, scoring 205 goals in 579 appearances. He was never able to make an impact on the international stage since Northern Ireland has never been a major force in football. When he was 28 years old, his alcoholism led his career to fall apart swiftly, and he was never able to achieve the success that his talent had promised. Number 9. Zinedine Zidane, France Individual ability is one of Zidane's most valuable attributes. Ball control, physical strength, and passing are among the other qualities. His strongest efforts were always in the most vital games, displaying a character fortitude not often seen in other sportsmen. He scored 159 goals in 789 appearances as a central midfielder. His country, France, won the World Cup in 1998 and the European Championships in 2000. During his tenure with Juventus and Real Madrid, he won three Serie A titles and one European Cup. After retiring from football, Zidane turned his attention to Real Madrid's management, leading them to three consecutive European Cup triumphs. Number 8. Alfredo Di Stefano, Argentina The first forward on the list to be considered is Alfredo Di Stefano. He was a prolific goal scorer throughout his stint with Real Madrid, collecting 511 goals in 702 appearances. He wasn't your usual striker, though since he was seen tackling, passing, and overall controlling the game. He was the most well-rounded player in the history of the game. He won an incredible five European Cups with Real Madrid, scoring in each of the five championship matches. He won a total of 13 league championships during his playing career, 1945-1966. Because he did not play in a World Cup, his international record is dismal, but he did represent Argentina in the Copa America. Number 7. Ferenc Puskas, Hungary Ferenc Puskas was, without a doubt, the most accurate goal scorer in the game's history. During his professional career, 1943-1966, he scored 700 goals in 705 appearances, which was a world record at the time, thanks to a combination of his finishing ability, general intelligence, and capacity to invent new abilities, such as the drag back. With Real Madrid, he was a three-time European Cup winner and a five-time La Liga champion. He added five more league titles to his total in Hungary. At the international level, he guided Hungary to the 1954 World Cup final. Number 6. Franz Beckenbauer, Germany Franz Beckenbauer was a sweeper, a ball-playing defender who assists to attacks, during his international career, but it didn't stop him from scoring 111 goals in 776 appearances for Germany and Bayern Munich. John Luigi Di Stefano was never in one place at a time on the football field, but he was literally everywhere at the same time, influencing the game and exerting his influence while sweeping up opposition attacks that broke through the defensive line. You have one of the best players in history when you combine Beckenbauer's leadership skills with his dribbling, passing, and all-around technical ability. He won the 1974 World Cup, the 1972 European Championships, three European Cups, and eight league titles during his club career, in addition to three European Cups and eight league titles. Number 5. Michel Platini, France The attacking midfielder Michel Platini made 652 appearances and scored 353 goals during his professional career. With his exceptional playmaking and free-kick-taking ability, he combined these qualities with merciless goal-scoring abilities to attain success. 
France's qualification for the 1984 European Championships rested nearly entirely on his shoulders, and he scored nine goals in the process. In his club career, he won three league titles, the European Cup, and the Italian Super Cup with Juventus, in addition to the Italian Super Cup. Number 4. Zico, Brazil Despite the fact that Zico was regularly left out of top 10 lists due to a lack of achievements, his footballing ability was never in dispute. Non-stop goal scorer, he was also a fantastic goal creator, with a deft touch and the ability to create one-of-a-kind shots and talents to complement his prolific goal-scoring abilities. With the addition of heading ability and free-kick competence to his repertoire as an attacking midfielder, he became one of the most complete offensive players in history, and one of the best in the world. Thanks to his performance in the 1981 Intercontinental Cup, the great Liverpool squad of the 1980s appeared to be amateurs in comparison to them. Number 3. Johan Cruyff, Netherlands In the history of soccer, Johan Cruyff is the most significant player in person. Cruyff had a distinguished career as a member of both his club and national teams, and he produced some stunning football along the way. Cruyff is regarded as a cult hero for leading the Catalan Giants to their first league title in 14 years immediately after joining them, and it was he who introduced the tiki-taka and beautiful football philosophies to the Camp Nou for the first time. Cruyff was a true visionary and pioneer of the sport, as well as a part of probably the greatest ever football team that never won the World Cup, when the Netherlands finished second to West Germany in 1974. Cruyff left football in 1984, having led Feyenoord to the league title against all odds. He was a true game legend who stayed at the top for an incredible 20 years. Number 2. Pele, Brazil Pele, as he is known in his home Brazil, was the ultimate goal-scoring machine during his playing career, and he is widely regarded as the greatest player to have ever participated in the sport. A remarkable 1,282 goals were scored by him in 1366 games, which is an outstanding achievement. His sheer strength, speed, and dribbling ability enabled him to score goals just for the sake of scoring goals, and he was able to score goals of all kinds. He took his goal-scoring prowess to the World Cup where he scored three goals in three games to help Brazil win the tournament for the third time in a row, 1958, 1962, 1970. Over the course of his professional career, he has collected two Copa Libertadores titles and five Liga titles. Following his success, he was placed in teams with other extraordinarily skilled players, such as Garincha and Carlos Alberto, with whom he later became friends and eventually became teammates. Because he has become a symbol for these teams, he has gotten all of the honors and attention that these teams have received as a result of his association with them. Number 1. Diego Maradona, Argentina Diego Maradona was, without a doubt, the greatest footballing talent the world had ever seen in his lifetime. In addition to his dribbling prowess, his goal-scoring skill was distinguishable and clinical, and his passing and crossing were precise, earning him a deluge of assists throughout his professional career. The offensive midfielder made 680 appearances for the club, scoring 345 goals in that time span. His career was significantly more difficult than Pele's, yet he was nevertheless able to win the 1986 World Cup with Argentina, as well as three Serie A titles and one UEFA Cup with Napoli during his time there. He scored one of the best goals in the history of the game against England, which is considered one of the best in the world. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.